To be honest, I've been a little embarrassed about the whole, you know, Angie dumping me thing. I felt a little stupid. Um, so they, it kind of sucked. Hmm. Kind of like, kind of felt like an ass. It's been kind of my own little world. You know, I've made a lot of new friends. I've kind of been, kind of hanging with a new crowd. Um, kind of like the popular crowd. Um, I go to like wine tastings. Um, you know, the horse races, art galleries, um, Broadway plays. I haven't, I haven't, you know, really spoken to anyone since, since the shindig. Most of the cameras are the newest technology. There were some that were as small as a Tic Tac so that the events of that evening could be recorded. We haven't ruled out blackmail as another possible motive. This is, this is a lot, a lot to hear, and I'm just, I didn't, I didn't know about, why am I so, like, out of the loop? Other ones that were a little bit more obvious, um... Like the real world? I'm not familiar with that show, but, uh, suffice it to say that there were very small cameras present throughout the home. Was there, like, a control room or something with, with all the little, little videos, or what? Um... We'd like to think that they caught most of the pertinent uh, events of that evening. Designed from what we could gather so that there would be no corner that would not be filmed. How would they, someone have like a camera phone or something? Are you telling me that you weren't aware that there were over 400 miniature cameras recording all of the events of that evening? What are you, what are you talking about, 400? Where, where were the cameras? I didn't see any cameras. It appeared as though they weren't going to have any dead zones. It was just a party. I mean, it wasn't... 400 situated throughout the house. That's... Why so? That's like a ridiculous amount of cameras. We're still trying to piece together exactly why. Like, I could understand maybe like one for each room and one for outside, but 400... That's, that's like a little creepy. Why, why, the, why the cameras? Those cameras were there, but I can tell you, with millions of dollars worth of artwork, and um, a beautiful house like that, uh, obviously whoever rented this place uh, wanted to protect their investment quite a bit. This is weird. I mean, I didn't, I didn't like him. I don't, I don't want to sound like a dick. I don't care. I, I don't really care about him. Did he, did he arrive there with anybody? Um, he, had, he had a girl with, uh, with him, like a female version of, of himself. She had like a like an ask like a girl a girl Scott, a femme Scott, if you will. This guy in the 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 gentleman in the ascot and uh, the girl in the scarf. You said you thought that they were snobby. Yeah, you know what? It was they were kind of kind of like phonies, kind of two faced. Like they'd say something really nice. Oh, Craig, I love your jacket. You know, like twenty minutes later, like what a stupid fucking jacket, and just talking shit about everyone. And she was, um, you know, kind of kind of like snobby. That's like the impression I got. Okay. I mean, he called me stupid and I kind of, I kind of got his face. You actually heard them talking about, t talking negatively about some of the other party goers then? Yeah, they made me feel crappy too because I didn't have any money. Like, you know, $48, they, they were like, they thought it was some kind of like, like deadbeat or something. Was Mr. Ascot drinking a beer or uh, a, a glass of wine. He had, you know, like a like a tall, fancy wine glass, pinky out most most of the evening. 